Well, good morning, everybody. It's, uh, I don't even know what day it is. Ain't that awful? I'd have to look. Um, anyway, out here in the barn, we've got about 19 feet, two and a half inches to those collar ties way up top. And I've got some inch and a half box tubing down back. And I'm going to put a metal square plate on the bottom, on over here and over here. Make it a little over four feet wide, because I'm going to... Those collar ties are 16 inch on center. And what I'm going to do is put one on the left side of a collar tie, and then go four feet and put it on the right side of the collar tie. And that'll get us four feet plus an inch and a half. And uh, <clears throat> I'll have to run an electrical outlet up here somewhere on that post right there because it's a plug-in 110 unit that I bought. I've got it in the other room, brand new. And uh, we'll make a basket. And we're gonna have these uh, upright supports, these guides, about 15 inches out from here. And that way I can make that basket two feet and it'll go up by in the the guide will be about right here, which isn't out too far. I mean, we can still get the tractor by it. And when you're not using the basket, it's going to be left up top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two, uh, two pinholes in it. <coughs> and we can drop like a resitch pin through it underneath it when we're not using it. And that way if kids are visiting or whatever and they go to use it, they'll frig with it. It can't come down on nobody. Uh, it's not going to be for people. It's not going to have safety latches to catch it. You know, it's going to be a common sense deal. You know, you load it with boxes, walk up the stairs. I mean, the stairs are only right here. You know, you just walk it up and down the stairs. Grab a hold to control and bring your stuff up to you. And that way we won't have to lift it and lug it up and down the stairs like we've always done. Um, my wife lugs the boxes down backwards. She backs down and slides it behind her. Makes me nervous. That's what we're doing this for, because I don't want her to get hurt. Um, you know, neither one of us are getting any younger. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's the project for today. I'll bring you along. This is 19 feet, eight inches. That's what that tube is, that's what it takes to get up to the top of that collar tie. Pretty simple, just a lot of cotton. I'll bring you back when I'm doing something a little more interesting.
this right here is what I'm going to do. I've drilled them for a drywall screw and I'm just going to hold them down the floor with four drywall screws. It's not going to be a heavy duty lift and it's not made for people. So, you know, pretty simple. I'll be back when we get the weld going. That is all that needs. That is going to be. Yeah, it looks pretty square. It's square enough. Um, yeah, we'll just knock the slag off it. And I'm only going to do two sides. And if it sweats on the inside because the temperature changes, you know, it can weep out the bottom. I know a lot of stuff for it. Too. Tighten stuff right up, it'll sweat sometimes and cause you problems. So, anyway, there's one done. We'll uh, lug it upstairs, see what it looks like. Everything's magnetized. Go down an inch and a half. Go down to four, another inch, uh, another two and a half. Measure in uh, three quarter inch. And measure in three quarter inch right there. Yeah. Battery's half dead. No. Well, at least we got through it.
Major. That's within actually something of steel. There we go. That's pretty close. Bottom might have to go to an eighth or so. That way there, well, it's close. This uh, level isn't perfect either. Yeah, so. Been used and used. But anyway, I got better ones down there, but it's good enough. Um, I need uh, 49 and 3 quarter, which I've got right dead on right now. And that one's 16 and 5 eighths out, and this one's 16 and 5 eighths. The only thing that could be off a little bit is my measurement up top, because that's a hard place to get an eye on square, but it's close. Well, uh, when I get this all together, I'm going to put the carriage into it, or the elevator, and run it, and make sure that uh, everything goes good before I actually drill the holes up in the, the collar ties. So anyway, we'll start making the basket. Well, I've been doing some cutting off camera. These here are five footers. They're for the uprights of the basket, there's four of them. And I've got two, uh, well, they're outside there. I'll go on out and show you what I'm going to do. Those are the uprights for the middle of the basket. And this right here is eighth inch wall, just like the, the uh, inch and a half. And I think that's a two inch piece. It is. It's two inch by eighth. So I just happen to have about a seven inch piece. I cut it into pieces and cut one side off. Because the track is the same as what I'm making the basket out of. And all I want to do is keep it from spinning as you're going up with it. So I'm going to weld these on six inches from the bottom, six inches from the top. A pair of them. And they'll be the guides. And then I'm going to take, cut out some stuff for the bottom, which I've got cut out in there already. And I'll start making this basket. And uh, I'll bring you along here as we get started on it. Well, as you can see, I've got my track guides on the outside. I've clamped it to my welding table. It's quite tall, six feet tall. And, uh, you know, I didn't weld perfect welds, Bobby, but it's enough. It's going to be able to hold for 500 pounds. That's for sure. So I've got another one done over here, leaning up. I'm going to put it onto here and clamp it, which is, you know, Pretty simple work, but uh, I'll get that done, get it all at the right width and get it squared, and uh, 
then I'll go ahead and tack some pieces in on the bottom. So. So I just took this square here, and as you can see, it's just touching up there, and we're right up against this here, I was in a sixteenth, yeah, about a sixteenth off, and I'm not going to beat it around anymore for a sixteenth. As far as being square from one side to the other, right now it's measuring as close as you can measure with a tape. To 49 and 5, which is what I've got written down there, but in the money. So now we need to go cut some uh, pieces of steel that are 46 and 5 sixteenths. I write it down, I'll remember it. 46 and 5 sixteenths. Okay. So I'm going to go in on the bandsaw. Cut me out two pieces and I'll be back. some heat with a torch, but I don't think it'll be too bad.
got about five welds to do. <clears throat> Put them through there as well. Not bad. <laughs> I guess I could have rolled it over without the tractor if I was just going to throw it off the bench. Anyway, <laughs> best laid plans, you know. Um, I got uh, just a few more welds. Got to put a weld here, a couple there and there, and I got to weld this top hook on. The uh, That's got to be clamped down. It's got a little tension on it now. I got to weld up this. And about a three inch spot here and a couple a couple little spots there. And this will be done. So I will bring you back in a few. Well, this is the frame of the elevator. Got it all welded up. And this piece of expanded metal is gonna go on the bottom. But it's getting late in the evening, and I got other projects I have to do today. So this is gonna be the end of this part one of building an elevator for the barn um yeah it's coming good tomorrow we'll finish her up there's not much left to do i gotta weld this in the bottom a um, little torch work and i gotta mount the um yeah i'm gonna call it a winch but that ain't what i want um just drawing a brain fat here yeah, the hoist, <coughs> electric hoist. Um, anyway, we got that. It's a 110 job. I think it's got like 39 feet of line on it. So I think we can double it. We'll have to see what the speed is of it. And uh, we'll give her a try. And it'll work out good, I think. We'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like it. And if you'd like to subscribe, that way you'll be notified when we get another one up. Talk to you later.